Yeah, so she's going to come and do a um, Qigong move, uh, Praying Buddha it's called, nice little balanced one. Uh, going to add the Pilates breathing to start off with and then take it from there. Um, so, going to just start with the breathing. So we're going to just zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, okay, and then two muscles go together. So you can't do one without the other. So as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals right now, and just breathe naturally, that's going to help you breathe anywhere but your belly button. And help you use this corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, which is three layers deep. And that supports the spine. So with that, we're just going to get the hands here and just take the thumbs from the hips all the way around. That's the B line there. So that's, that's the pelvic floor down and up three layers deep here on that B line here, wrapping around like a corset, three layers deep is your transverse abdominus. So like I say, you can't do one without the other. With these thumbs here, they meet you there. If you do a little cough, <coughs> you'll feel the pelvic floor go and the corset. So that gives you that awareness that they are going together, their muscles, okay? So as you're doing that right now, zip up, scoop out your abdominals. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips as you keep the whole time zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out the abdominals. Now the exhale will help you do that easier. Like I say, it's like a cough or a sneeze, <coughs> everything comes in, but as you, <sighs> that really throw on that corset. Okay, give me nice and forceful to start with this breath. Um, that'll help you in a sort of, you know, more of an ab exercise to throw on that corset, that exhale. Okay, but as you're doing that right now, you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathing through the nose whenever you like, and exhale through pursed lips. Lovely. And just to see the breath's not going in to the stomach, because again, like the Qigong traditional breath that goes into the stomach, it's not here. As we zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, we do the opposite, that puts the breath right now as you're doing that, into these lower lobes of lungs. So if you get these two middle fingers touching, underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, palms on the lower lobes of lungs, and keep breathing through the nose. Keep your shoulders down low. No, they, it's quite easy for that to happen. And exhale through pursed lips. And you'll feel these two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. As you zip up how we floor and scoop out your abdominals right now, and keep breathing through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips. And keep these hands here underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, palms on the lower lobes, the lungs, just to see where the breath right now is going into them lower lobes and lungs. As you breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. You'll feel them two middle fingers slightly moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Just add in width to the lungs and length to the out breath. As you exhale through pursed lips, lovely. Even imagine someone's opening the umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. Okay, lovely. It's what we call lateral flaccid breathing, as you keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals and breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips and allowing that simplicity just to relax your mind. That's gonna help you throw in that corset. Lovely. You would imagine someone's pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. Lovely, just. So from there, we're gonna add that to motion, vinyasa style, breath synchronized motion. And again, to this Qigong posture, it's just a movement, we're gonna add breath to motion. So again, the motion first is starting here. And all you're doing is coming up here and coming back with the hands. Pushing away the wall Samson style, but you're just gonna take the back leg. You can either partially empty it here or fully empty it there on the back of the calf and then step out. Squat down no lower than knees and on the toes. Then you do the same with the other one. Breathing in, coming up, exhaling down. Okay, again, from here, 
struggling for a bit of space here. Gonna move that a little bit actually. That's better. So I'm not squeezed for space. And as we do this, we're gonna breathe in, come up, exhale down, pushing away the walls. If you want to squat down, feel free, but again. I would go no longer than knees and lower toes. Keep them Oyanga Yoga principles, okay? If it can be a centimetre or a millimetre or a foot, but no longer than knees and lower toes. Breathing in, coming up. Exhale, push away the walls. Stepping out wide, it's up. Breathing in here. If you want to steady yourself here, you can do. At any time, or you can come up higher here and push away the walls as you open out the chest. As you breathe in, come up. Exhale down, I'm going to come here. So again, optional with that foot motion. How high on the calf you want to go, or you keep your foot on the ground, see what suits you. Push away the wall, Samson style. Feel that stretch, your little pinkies, little fingers, as you open out the chest, all the organs in the chest. Breathing in, coming up, exhaling down. That put the shoulders in the right position, and simply synchronize and calibrate, and synchronize the breath with the motion. Integrate the breath with the movement, Breathing in, coming up, reaching up. As if wild horses upon your part, pushing away the wall, Samson style. For that stretch your little pinkies, little fingers, as you breathe in, come up, exhale down. Lovely sort of yawning stretch. Find that first yawn in the morning, you can start here or here. Lovely. Synchronize the breath of the motion and exploit the speed and tempo. Slow as hard or fast as easier. Especially on the way down here, okay? The negative phase as you lower your foot is the hardest part. That's where you really exploit the speed and tempo. And as you're doing this, think of lengthening out from big toe to little toe. So there's a tripod from big toe to little toe to the center of your heel. Like a triangle from big toe to little toe to the center of your heel. Just rooting your feet in towards the floor. As you empty one leg, if you like, and fill up the next, or keep the foot on the floor, see what suits you. Shoulders down, lengthen up for the crown, zipping up and hollowing, breathing in, reaching up, open out the chest. Lovely, empty one leg, fill up the next, feeling that soft cushion of the earth as that foot just melts down towards the floor. As you keep doing that, keep zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals and exploiting the speed and tempo. Slow as hard or fast as easier, especially what we call that negative phase. So from here, as you breathe and reach up, exhaling down. Feel that soft cushion of the earth as that foot just melts in towards the floor. As you empty one leg, fill up the next, reaching, seeing how long you can become as you come up, then pushing away the wall, Samson style. Feel that stretch, little pinkies, little fingers. Lovely, so that's the, it's called the Prime Little Prime Buddha or, little, or Prime Little Buddha uh, from Qigong. It's just motion, that's all it is. So don't get too caught up. Again, you can do the Qigong breathing. That's more traditional. That's breathing into our bellies like a broom. So it's more meditative breath that massages all the internal organs. Um, a lot of doing the meridians, stuff like that. But again, we're going down a different route. Just taking the motion and use it as a Pilates exercise. Anything on the one leg is good, because 85% of the time we're on one leg in the walking gait. So it's really good to work on the one leg phase. Yeah, so, so anything's good on the one leg. As you gather in, zip up and hollow on that one leg, that'll help you stabilise. Okay, helps you stabilise. Lovely, so that's the end of Little Praying Buddha, a nice Qigong posture, well, that Pilates set up. Uh, I'm going to do another mixture later on with yogic breath and hypnotherapy type breath. But again, just breath synchronised movement, movement even, uh, vinyasa in that sort of style. Um, you can, as you open out the chest and you do that one, you'll feel all the organs open out of the heart, the lungs, the pericardium, the heart lining, when opened out like a book. It's always nice to open out this chest because we tend to compress the chest a lot in everyday life through hitching the shoulders, etc. So it's always nice to open out that chest and open out like a book. And yeah, stretch the hands also. So we use these a lot, phones, again, shoulders up here. 
stuff like that on the phone's little fine micro moves. So again, anything that's gonna open up these hands and stretch these forearm muscles, the flexors of the finger muscles, which are used a lot in little micro movements, bones, etc. So again, it's a really good one for posture in the modern world. Bang.